Oia, oia. Oia, nossa, vai bater no carro. Nossa, vem uma escada. Ah, grabe nga sandstorm sa hupup sa Saudi Arabia Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out, and blood toucheth the blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea, also shall be taken away.
no te me cruce. Great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Ele... Ela não entra lá dentro, não adianta ficar ali, é mulher. Olha uma coceira descendo. Ixi, olha, subiu ali, hein, Isa? É, tá lá. Ah, lá, lá deu outro. Ah, tá ah, tá <risos> Rapaz, aí tirou até o chão. Cara, olha aqui no, na frente do hotel, olha o carro como é que tá aqui, tá? A água. Meu Deus do céu, cara, olha isso. Olha o que virou isso. The flu is widespread across 48 U.S. states right now. Scientists at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say doctors are seeing as many patients right now as they did at the height of the 2009 H1N1 flu pandemic. The epidemic this season is not at pandemic levels, but it has been especially tough on baby boomers. CDC officials say that could be in part because they weren't exposed to this year's most aggressive H3N2 strain as children. It's it's nearly impossible to predict how this flu season will end, as flu viruses don't follow predictable models from year to year. When the waters rise, they do so rapidly, and they're ruthless. There's just time to save what's essential. I saved my two nephews, but then I couldn't get back. The water reached seven kilometers from there. I haven't heard anything from my sister. More than 100 members of the Chorote indigenous community left everything behind when they fled Santa Victoria, evacuated to this school in the nearby town of Aguaray. They're being fed, but they want to go home. We're ready to go back, but we're scared the water is filtered through. Losing our things would be very sad. We spent our lives there. Our children grew up there. Carlos is one of the few who risks staying behind. There's nothing to eat today. It's been two days since we last ate. Carlos is waiting for his neighbours to return, which they will when this, the only road into town, is repaired. The waters are subsiding. These defences and constant vigilance saved Santa Victoria this time. But life here for the mostly indigenous communities is precarious. They're returning home, but wondering when the floods will come again. These Toba were not so lucky. Their community, La Corvita, flooded and is now unreachable. But they were all rescued by the provincial civil defence force, 
working with police, the army and the Red Cross. It's not about preventing emergencies anymore. The emergencies come by themselves. There's no way of stopping them. What we've got to do is reduce the risk, determine what the risk is and be there. Working against the clock to search for survivors. Rescuers are using cranes to get to those trapped in what's left of Hualien's Marshall Hotel. When the earthquake struck just before midnight local time, the ground floor caved in, leaving the entire building slanting on its side. There are two people left inside. One is my older brother and another is his colleague. The rescuers are trying to dig further down to look for my brother. That's the situation for now. Taiwan's president Tsai Ing-wen arrived in Hualien on Wednesday morning. Earlier on social media, she said teams from around the island will be helping with the search for survivors. Taiwan's fire agency reports that five more buildings, including a hospital, were also damaged, as were several roads leading to the city. This earthquake followed another one over the weekend off the coast of Hualien. This earthquake uh, today and the sequence for the last few days has been right in one of the hot spots on the northeast coast of Taiwan. So it's not a surprise. Uh, it's in an area where aftershocks are inevitable. You know, the question is how many big aftershocks will there be? And our usual odds are one in 10 or one in 20 chance of a bigger earthquake. So they need to be prepared at least for a few days for more action. The city lies along the Pacific Rim of Fire, known for regular seismic activity from Alaska to Southeast. North Korea is denouncing a new American nuclear strategy that calls for the U.S. to enhance its arsenal of low-yield nuclear weapons. A spokesperson for the North Foreign Ministry's Institute of American Studies says the U.S. strategy is a declaration of war against the world. As part of our defense, we must modernize and rebuild our nuclear arsenal, hopefully never having to use it but making it so strong and so powerful that it will deter any acts of aggression by any other nation or anyone else. Yeah. Perhaps someday in the future, there will be a magical moment when the countries of the world will get together to eliminate their nuclear weapons. Unfortunately, we are not there yet.